Hi everyone! So this video is a requested video and it's going to be about storage. Um, what it is, is it's storage ideas on how you can store your BPAL oils, so like your 5ml bottles or your imps. Um, so again that is for Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab oils, um, which you probably have noticed quite a few of my videos lately have been about those perfume oils. Um, so this is basically how I store them and hopefully it can give you guys some tips and tricks on how you might be able to store your oils. So there's two ways that I store my imps and the first way is in these little things and they are bullet cases. So that's what they look like and inside they've got lots of little slots which are the perfect width for an imp. Um, so basically you just roll up the label and you pop it in the little case. So they come in different sizes. This one I think is 100 and this one is 50 spaces. So they make it really, really convenient to keep your imps in. It makes it very neat and you can also organise them into different um, boxes. So maybe there's one that you're currently testing. Uh, one that you need to buy full bottles for, um, all sorts of things in alphabetical order depending on how many imps that you have. Uh, the good thing about these as well is it will keep them dry, it will keep them cool and it will also keep them in a dark place. And these are really easy to store and stack. So you can stack them and pop them on a shelf, in a drawer, anywhere that they fit basically. And so this is a really clever and very neat way to store your BPAL imps. So this is the second way that I store my imps and it's basically in a wooden box that I have painted and I stuck some scrapbooking paper and little embellishments on the corners just to make it a little bit more pretty so I can have it out on display and it looks like it's meant to be on display. Um, over the top of it all I covered it with, it's kind of like a finishing glue or um, setting kind of paste. It's called Mod Podge and you can find it in most scrapbooking stores around the world and um, yeah that's that's basically what I did. So inside it's got some inserts that divided into nine equal parts. This is what it looks like inside. Um, what I've done is divide it into alphabetical order. So I've got you know A, B, C, D etc etc. Down the front I have some of the more special um, imps or the ones that are in weird little applicators and then non BPAL imps as well. Um, I think it's just really neat. It keeps them you know, organized and clean. So that's another idea is to find something at one of your local craft stores, paint it up, make it suit your room or wherever you're putting it and um, yeah make it yours and that's really a good idea to store your imps. As far as bottles go this unit it um, this particular unit is actually too shallow um, to have bottles standing up in it, but if you find a deeper one, you could definitely store your 5ml bottles of perfume um, BPAL oils in these types of containers as well. So this is my first box of BPAL 5ml, but again it's the same thing, I've just painted it, um, I've taken off the little bracket clasp thing, um, I haven't actually put it back on yet, but I don't really need to in this case because I store it on a shelf it doesn't really need it um, but you can find boxes again it's just a wooden box that I've painted I painted the inside as well just because I thought it would look a little bit more finished and I cut out scrapbooking paper from the top and the bottom and again I just went over it all with Mod Podge to set it and um, keep it safe just in case any of the oils spilt or anything like that I just like the colors I think it looks really pretty and it suited the shelf and the room that it was in at the time. So inside, as you can see, um, they're just basically all standing up. They're all kept nice and cool and dark. I also like to keep mine in alphabetical order. So A, then B, then ra ra ra, all the way to Z. Um, and that's basically the first way, or my first box of 5ml B pals. So I use this particular little box for my backups. Um, and some of the oils that I just haven't got a spot for in the larger box. So again, I just did the same thing with the scrapbooking paper, just chose something that would look nice and covered it as the other ones. Now inside, it's the same story. Uh, I've basically put them in alphabetical order 
and then that's it. Um, what I also do with the particular oils that I'm not using, I like to put a little bit of plumber's tape, which is this white stuff here, just around the outside. Um, I just like to make sure that the bottles are sealed and still as fresh as they can be. You can find this at most hardware stores. Um, it's very, very, very thin kind of tape. It's not sticky, but it will stick to the glass and it will, um, yeah, basically help seal in the oil um, until I'm ready to use them. I keep that on them. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I hope you learned some tricks about how you might be able to store your perfume oils. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And um, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I Again, I hope it was helpful for you. And I'll see you again really, really soon. Bye!